Rabs and Tabulo, his wife and nine dependents, subsist in a 9 by 15 foot mud house on a total combined family income of 35 cents per day. The cost of feeding all 11 people a mixture of corn flour and water is 70 cents per day. Through the generosity of a single elderly couple in Canada, we have had the privilege of constructing a new home for the family and assisting them in various ways. It's a great honor for me to be standing side by side with the Honourable Minister for Education, Science and Technology. So sir, please accept our partnership and our thanks to you for being allowed to work together with you. Whoever is receiving the award at MSCE level is receiving 30,000 budget. Also, having completed MSCE, if the student goes on to post-secondary education at college or university, they will receive 30,000 kwacha every year as long as they are in university or college. FEM has strong links with this hospital, facilitating placement of interns here from the University of Waterloo for a clinical rotation each year. We are also assisting in sending medical residents in family practice. FEM has also partnered financially to enable pediatric ophthalmic surgery for children who have been born blind. This is good water. This one is not good. This is dirty one. And that's the one that you drink? This one is, you, we, we, we are drinking this one, the dirty one. We hope to bring safe drinking water to the children in the school here by uh, taking water from their open water source and filtering it uh, through cloth filter first and then putting it in these bottles. Um, and the ultraviolet light will kill off uh, most of the germs and most of the bacteria. The Bible says where there is no vision, the people perish or become destitute. Malawi is the fourth poorest country in the world with 65% of the population existing on less than $1 per day. And yet we constantly find this to be a place of incredible joy and laughter. Uh, the development of the Taolo uh, area in Zomba is in progress and the people, community is welcoming the development, thank future vision ministers. And so far, we're planning to have a uh, nasal school, pet netting, nutrition, and we are very, very thankful to Future Vision for, for their coming in to assist the community. Since Chris and Dan Hayhoe first visited this cashless society of subsistence farmers in 2009, FEM has been determined to fulfill our mandate of ministering to the whole person, spirit, soul, and body by providing educational assistance, eye care, and the basic necessities of life through relevant initiatives and partnerships. This is Malawi, the warm heart of Africa. These are the people of Taolo, our fathers and mothers, our brothers and sisters, our children. This is our family. <laughs>